So I'm changing the blade. The reason I'm changing the blade is because whenever you cut, if you're doing a razor cut on somebody and you're going to cut on their skin, you want to make sure that you're using a nice new blade. It wouldn't be nice to cut somebody and then use their blood on, right? I mean, you don't really have to. You could pretend like you didn't and then, but it's not a nice thing to do. And it's expensive because every blade's two bucks. And after, if you do 20 people a day, that's 40 bucks just in blades. But it's the right thing to do. This is a razor that I designed. It's called a reflex razor. It's got the, the handle in the center rather than having the hole in the back, which is most razors, and then you hold like this. And that's kind of clumsy. I like to put my hand in like this and then I can go in all different directions with it. So you can do it wet. Yeah. Good. Good. Love, love to, uh, my, my, I prefer to cut hair wet. <laughs> like this, watch. So we've got that, and we do this. We're going to wrap it around this way. We'll leave a little fringe in the neck so we create a nice feminine line down here. Yeah, just right. one of the cool things about it is that inside the pivot, they're made out of cobalt, they're sharp, they're surgically sharpened, they're, they're balanced and incredible. But the thing that is really amazing about the scissor is that in the pivot, instead of a screw, 99.9% .9 of all scissors work off a screw in the center. I put ball bearings in mine, so they're super, super smooth and sharp, so they're like butter. It's just like cutting with a laser. Okay. Now watch me cut my finger off. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to drop this line down. That's going to look pretty raging already. Now we're going to come up through here, we're going to take all the bulk out. There's my guide. Now I'm going to go pie sections, pie sections, all the way around. Leaving this long, this front really long. I'm going to leave the front longer than what the picture is, because I think that's what she wants. That's how they get 50 feet in there. That's bad. Go. Going real short in the crown so it gives it a life, uh, pumps up a really good amount of volume in the crown. So as you can see, a really long bang. <laughs> good, good, good. This be the longest corner of the whole haircut right here. Be a little asymmetrical.
She's got, she had this underneath bang already cut, which I have to somehow blend in here. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, leave this real heavy, I'm going to take this and cut this up here now. All that's going to go with the razor. You doing okay, Rebecca? I'm good. Let's recap. I'm taking a, a point right above the ear. That's where I want the shortest hair. Right here. Now that will get blend, blend, blended, blend, blended with this. We're going to over direct this back here. Cut it like that so she's got a little bit of a longer piece here. See? You guys having fun? Yes. I am. <laughs> Do you always cut with product? Or? Yeah, I always put product in before I cut. It helps me cut. <laughs> I have some of my favorites, but I, I do. I am a little partial to mine, not because they're mine, but I made them the way I like them. So, right? Yeah. My goal is to hang on to this corner. That's going to be all. That's going to be the style in this haircut. This cool, heavy corner. I'm going to get rid of this back, okay? Uh, she doesn't want a long back either, we were talking about it. So we're going to come right in here with the razor. She's got a, a hairline that goes in. So I'm going to come underneath. By getting rid of this back, it's going to make the, the top look so much cooler, and heavier, and All this weight's going to do here is just drag her down. I've got some techniques that I'm going to teach you guys in the class about razor cutting that you're going to freak on. There's really nobody really cuts with a razor. At least I've never seen anybody cut with a razor quite like the way I do it. What I like to do is I like to sculpt literally into the hair with it. Most people when they cut with a razor they cut ends. I like to work into the hair. Just like if I had a hammer and chisel and I wanted to take out weight here. Understand what I mean by that? Okay. Work into it. By taking this weight out here. Here, see how much more weight I have now put up here? Okay. What do you say? You are like a sculptor. It is, it is totally sculpting, you guys. Hair cutting is sculpting. This is starting to look cute as hell. We got a heavy side here. We don't want it that heavy, but we we don't want to we don't want to lose that. We're going to bend it over here like this. We're going to over direct the daylights out of it. <laughs> here it is. You guys know how to do this with a razor? Yeah. Look.
It's starting to come out really cutie patootie. Got to hold on to that corner. Though. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's go back to the curves. These slide cutting is really good for doing stuff like this too. Now I'll take I'll keep the length, but I'll take the weight out by going this way. Horizontal. When you lift something, you, you take the weight out of it. See? Here's the length. I, don't, I want the length, but I don't want the weight, so I'm going to lift it and cut it. How's it looking so far, you guys? Take a little bulk out of here. Are you looking at yourself? I am. <laughs> Who likes to cut? I do. I <laughs> can't wait to get in there and do a haircut right now. I can't. Is this making you crave? Yes. <laughs> Good.
Are we going to tell him that you're in class? Yeah, you're bringing him. <laughs> Come in. One. I'm really, I'm really torn to cut or not to cut. I'm cutting. <laughs> Wouldn't you guys? Mm -hmm. It's too heavy. Yeah, It doesn't have a purpose. There we go. Yeah. Let's lighten this up. channel through here, opposite direction, that will give it some direction. Let's take some of this weight out here. Which will make that bang look cooler. No. I've never colored it. You've never colored your hair? No. You're a color virgin? Yes. <laughs> we'll let you go on stages. She's pretty brave. Wax. What do you guys think? You like it? Love it. Love it. She's a cutie and a patootie. <laughs> what I like to do with wax on these kind of haircuts, we have inside texture. Watch this. Do this. Put it on your hands like this, in the back of your hands, and then, and then rape, rape through the whole thing. See? with your hands, like rake. What's that, what that's going to do is it's going to, it's going to put, it's going to give a lot of lift when it comes back this way, see? So, detail out, detail out. So it's all going in the opposite direction now, right? Right. So we've got that. And now what we'll do is we'll just kind of take it back this way, see? Piece it all out into its weight. The, the smallest little things make a big difference. So, see this line here? It's too bulky. Now watch. I'm going to carve that up so that her eyebrow and her cheekbone show here. And I want to show you just how a little tiny bit of difference 
to make this haircut look totally different. It'll open up her eye. Make it look. This is for you guys on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>